Only on Eyewitness News tonight, an inside look at the new Blackstone Valley National Historic Park, which is Rhode Island's first national park. You may think we already have one, but Roger Williams in the heart of Providence is actually a national memorial. So we wanted to know what it took to set up our first national park and what it cost to taxpayers. Kelly Sullivan sat down with a state leader who helped make this happen. She has the interview you'll see only on Eyewitness News. The smallest state made the biggest contribution during the Industrial Revolution, and centuries later, it's being recognized with a national park with help from Rhode Island's senior senator. What we did here, what our ancestors did here, literally shaped the nation for hundreds of years. Senator Jack Reed introduced legislation back in 2005 to push for the Blackstone Valley Federal Corridor to become a national park. You're known for defense, so championing this park is a little outside the box for you, isn't it? Well, actually, I've been engaged in uh, working w with the park for many, many years. Senator Reed worked with the National Park Service and then Massachusetts Senators John Kerry and Scott Brown as the valley stretches across state lines from Providence all the way up to Worcester. By the end of 2014, the Blackstone Valley National Historical Park was authorized, a cultural, environmental and recreational site to see. And the excitement is palpable in all of the communities connected to the National Historical Park. In the end, $900,000 in federal funding was earmarked to get the park off the ground. That money will go toward hiring experts to establish park boundaries and staffing it, not just at the visitor center here in Pawtucket, but other communities it touches. But once that $900,000 is gone, Reed says you'll be chipping in. Reed considers those taxpayer dollars an investment. In a way, that it might be analogous to, to our roads and bridges. Do we put money in there? Yes, we do. Because if we don't, our economic activity and our access are diminished. Reed hopes the revenue generated by those tourism dollars will offset the taxpayer costs. Here it's a situation of maintaining our history, our culture, and recreational opportunities that will provide for economic benefits, I think, for the state. And Reed tells me there's no exact annual operating cost yet because staff numbers and the size of the park are still being worked out. Now, coming up new at 6, are national parks a good investment of your tax dollars? I talked to the National Park Service to find out. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News. And don't miss more of national parks coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 6. New details now on Rhode Island's first national park, which is being set up in the Blackstone River Valley. Live at 5, we uncovered what role taxpayers will play in sustaining the park and how officials hope the state will benefit from it. And new at 6, how are national parks a good investment of your tax dollars? Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan finds out in a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Downtown Pawtucket may not have the breathtaking views of Yellowstone or Yosemite, but as the starting point for Rhode Island's first national park, state leaders are banking on its historic appeal. It took nearly 10 years to turn the Blackstone River Valley Historic Corridor into a national park. This place is nationally significant. What happened here, uh, the beginning of the Industrial Revolution in, in America started here. $900,000 in federal funding will help set up boundaries and staff the park, which stretches from Providence up into Worcester. Now, the focus is on sustaining the park once that money is gone. Taxpayers will eventually foot the bill for annual operations, but the hope is that tourism dollars will outweigh those costs. But yeah, the draw really is um, history and culture and again that this is where it started and people love that. They love to be standing in the spot where a, a seed was germinated. According to the U.S. Department of the Interior, national parks are a solid investment. We've learned that in 2005, taxpayers pumped $2.6 billion into the national park system, bringing a return of $12 billion, more than four times what was put in. Then there's the Roger Williams National Memorial in Providence. Though not a park, it is maintained by the Park Service. They tell me in 2010, 51,000 visitors pumped an estimated $3.1 million into the local economy. So while it may not have the views of the Grand Canyon, the hope is the history and scenery along the Blackstone will draw tourists and revenue to the area. It, it does take your breath away in a, in a different way. Um, it is beautiful. We run into people that all the time are struck by the beauty here in a different way. And park rangers at the Blackstone River Valley National Historical Park tell me that with the new national distinction, they're looking to expand their presence. They're even recruiting volunteers to get ready for the busy season. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.